Well, let's go back to one of our top stories, which is the outbreak of monkeypox in Nigeria. And Nigeria is already on a high alert. And we have a professor of virology, Oyewali Tomari, to help us better understand what we can be doing to prevent the spread of monkeypox. It's good to have you join us on TVC News at 10. How are you? Very fine, thank you. Uh, uh, the question I want to ask you is, what is the potential that monkeypox will spread in Nigeria? Because last week we saw the NCDC give an update on confirmed cases in Nigeria, and it said it's about we have just 39 cases in the country at the, at the moment. Thank you very much, uh, and greetings from Kigali. The, the, the fact that NCDC has reported 39 cases means the disease is here with us and is spreading. And remember, we have been having monkeypox since 2017 in this country. So it is not whether it is going to spread, it is spreading, the cases are on. And given the, the poor level of our surveillance in this country, that number 39 to me looks like a, a tip of the iceberg. So we have the problem and it's there with us. But how effective do you think are the adopted public health measures? You know, we heard the NCDC talk about contact tracing, isolation and quarantining. Uh, and just to, you know, to control the spread of monkeypox, how effective do you think these measures are? Well, I think the, the most important thing for us uh, is the fact that it is better to prevent uh, rather than begin to wait for we don't have vaccine or something. The most and first important essential thing is what you call surveillance. Improve your surveillance, then you know when the cases are occurring, and you can stop it before it becomes a major epidemic. If you have good surveillance, we can do, detect the cases at the community level, diagnose it with your laboratory, isolate the cases, and prevent, you introduce your IPC infection prevention control, and you can nip the, the epidemic in the bud. And that's the area where we should focus on, rather than a big begging the world for a vaccine. Point, which goes to the kind of research gaps we have in the country. It helps understand what the research gaps are and how we can address them to better understand and respond to monkeypox outbreak, even before the World Health Organization you know, gives a, declares it as a global health emergency. The most important thing for me, significant thing for me, was the fact that the African Center for Disease Control declared that same thing a day before the WHO. To me, it was a kind of reaction for Africa waking up to say, look, this is our problem. We need to do something about it. If I have a, a, a problem in my house, I don't want to find outside the command declare it for me. And when I do declare it, it means I'm ready to do something about it. So the declaration by the African Center for Disease Control, which I'm glad the WHO followed on the following day, is a wake-up call. Wake-up call to our leaders. And I started by mentioning the fact that you need good surveillance. It doesn't cost that much to put good surveillance in place. In the days of go, 50, 60 years ago, every state, every local government had a good epidemiological division that where surveillance was carried out so that the community was involved and you saw these cases before it became a major problem. That's where we should put our money. And I believe the amount of money that we are, we are, we are sorry to use the word, that we're wasting in this country have one tenth of that will solve the problem of the, the disease of violence in this country. But of course, you, you know, we've been at it for ages. And we're repeating the same thing. Our surveillance is bad. Laboratory is not. And all these years, since independence, something is wrong somewhere. We need to wake up and do what is needful. We have talented people with experience in, in field investigation. Let's encourage them. Let's enable them. Let's give them funding to do what it is. Again, I keep saying the money we are wasting in this country will see the end of us at the rate we are going. Over. Professor of Virology, Oyewale Tomori, thank you so much for speaking with us and sharing your thoughts on how to prevent the spread of monkeypox in Nigeria. Thank you, Sarah. It was a good time for you for me.